Good morning, Sean here. I was driving in this morning and I got to thinking about uh, a concept and I really like sharing these concepts. So this, pardon me, get this one, it's going to be raw, unedited. Um, I haven't put this on paper or even on a whiteboard yet. But uh, my idea came to me, uh, this morning I saw some uh, crazy yogurt commercial, one of those, uh, you know, eat two yogurts a day and starve yourself to death and lose weight. And I'm thinking, okay, look, you can lose weight on this. I mean, you know, the, yeah, if, you, if you're going to take less food in, you do lose weight. But what's the price of the weight loss itself? I mean, what they're really doing is advocating a, a, a less, less, less that get weaker, weaker. And I got to thinking about the kind of two schools of thought. There's the people who think um, nothing can be as simple as just eat less or eat less and move more. And then there's the people on the eat less, move more who go, man, everything's so complex. Or they're looking for secret answers. They're looking for amazing things. They're looking for all these tricks. So what's the truth about simplicity and complexity? I'll, I'll put it on this way. On the continuum from fat and out of shape to fit, F-I-T, fit. And so what hit me this morning is there's kind of like an arc. There's a, a descending and ascending element to this. Let's make it a smiley face, right? So what we've got here is the school of thought around weight loss. We're, we're, we're just losing. We're losing here. This is the uh, kind of the breaking point from it's over here. We, you know, they don't like to tell you to move more, but to move more, eat less. It's really, that's about all there is to it. You move more, eat less. Um, you know, this is kind of a, you know, but this, this has an element to it of, you know, getting weaker. Is that fitting on the screen, the weaker? So you get you get weaker over here. You know, there's less and less of you. Well, this is still we're still moving towards fitter because we're we're in a bad state. But it might not be the direct path towards fitter. Over here on this half starts to become the part where we'll call it a performance or improvement. Self-improvement. I don't expect you to read the writing. I'm just doing it so you can, when I say it, you could go, oh, yeah, that's performance. If you were writing so I could read it, then you'd know it was performance, right? But over here is all the things we do that get a little bit more complex, you know? Um, I mean, as you get up here, you start getting in the world of Lance Armstrong, and we're balancing, you know, our carbohydrates and proteins, we're taking blood tests every five minutes and stuff like that. We don't, we don't have to analyze that stuff down here. I mean, you know... I mean, very few people in the world ever get beyond this kind of level. This starts to get pro all this really funky, crazy stuff. I mean, really, you might need a, a, a fat loss, you know, activator somewhere up in here just to get the last few pounds off. You don't need it here and you don't need it down here. You need to move more, eat less over here. But what happens is all these techniques, like different ways to train the body come in, all these advanced formulas, you know, we want... You know, there, there, are, there are such things as low-grade weight loss products and weight loss strategies, you know, like um, things that fill your stomach up. And uh, what's that one that, um, you know, what's, what's the, the trick your appetite one you always love so much that they say? Um, oh. Suppressing. Oh, yeah. So you get over here, you get all this strategy around suppressing your appetite, you know, making it go away, make the bad appetite go away. So we want to suppress our appetite and trick our bodies and, and, and take kind of low-grade, you know, you know, nutrition shakes or junk that's over here. Over here, we start to get into higher-grade, higher-performance things that are really improving our life. So this is the field of, of, of less, of there's kind of a deprivation here, there's a sacrifice, there's a gaining, um, a thriving. So deprive yourself, thrive over here. Now, this gets increasingly complex. You know, we want to get a good nutrition shake foundation in here. We might, you know, want to put on some muscle and get a creatine in here. We might take on different ways of training our body up through here. Um, you know, I do a lot of cycling these days, so I, I you know, I'm into um, nutrition that would help my performance. So I care about the time it takes me to get up a hill. Um, I actually time that kind of stuff. So that stuff kind of comes over here where we're gauging, you know, it's the old what gets measured gets gets improved. Measurement itself improves things. So um, I was just, you know, when you look at this, 
you know, when you think about all the complex things that happen, where a muscle and fitness magazine shows you seven different ways to train a bicep, do I really need to do it this way and this way and this way? Most of us know. You know, do you really need to train it that way? You might want to train it that way when you get into a place of self-improvement and peaking. So increasing the degree of complexity over here. Really pretty simple over here. Two schools of thought. Some people over here who just need to lose weight think, man, everything looks so darn complex, and they're looking for tricks. They're looking for secrets. They're looking for magic. They get deceived into funky ways or macronutrient manipulation diets and other things when really all they need to do is move more and eat less. Move more and eat less will work. Um, you know, once again, over here, there's all these different supplements and things we can do. Like, you might have a joint formula right down here, you know, depending on what your age is, it might help you with a joint formula. There's neurotropics, there's vitamins that come in down here. Um, so various supplements. Then you get up to higher performance supplements up here. Higher performance technology, stress testing and things. Oh, and I got a phone call, so excuse me. Hello? Yo. I'm recording a video right now. Can I call you back in two minutes? All right, thanks. Bye. <clears throat> I'm back from the phone call. So um, I'm not sure if I made this more complex than it is. Let's call this the inverted continuum of um, fat to fit, self-improvement. The inverted continuum of self-improvement. And I think that um, I want to develop the concept more to understand, you know, what's simple, what's complex, when does complex come into our life? So that's the first time. This is getting weaker. This is getting stronger. This is when I'm seeking to, to, to better, to improve myself, that I want to live a higher energy, more vibrant, more powerful, empowered life. This is I just want to get some fat off me right now and stop dragging a, a freight train around. Um, it's really hard to leap from here to here. It's confusing. It's overwhelming. It's complex. And really, you can't make this leap. It doesn't mean you have to go to weaker. You can go to less and still move across this way. A lot of solutions want to take you down to real weak, you know. So I'm just saying, you know, simple, complex. Um, where are you on the continuum? How complex do things really need to be? You know, move more, eat less. Add a foundational nutrition shake to your life. Start picking up the elements that work for you. Um, you know, in, in, chap in, in book three of Strength for Life, I talk a lot about, you know, the seasons of strength. And I give you a plan for breaking your year down into different seasons, which is a really great way to macro manipulate um, your performance and self-improvement over here. So that's what I've got today. That's what came to me on the drive. And as for that um, eat two yogurts a day and starve yourself to death diet, no good. Skip it. Have a full strength and eat all you want.